Hi, this is Angela Murad at Amazing Kids AAC Consulting. Well, exciting stuff. I love beta testing, which beta testing means trying something out before it's officially released. So you're helping to work out kinks or give feedback, give ideas, suggestions before a final product is released. So what I'm showing you here could change and probably will change in some ways, be tweaked before it's finally released. This is the brand new... Uh, in the works, soon to be released in the UK in November, I think is what I heard. And here in the US, probably January, February-ish is what I've heard. Um, the folks at Toby Dynavox that are behind the scenes developing this, uh, two of the primary people, reached out to me and asked to have a video conference call over Teams. And so I did that this week on Thursday. And then yesterday they sent me over the files um, to try out. Please don't ask me to share them because I promise that I won't do that. Um, and I did specifically ask though if they're okay with me sharing on social media. And they, they were totally fine with that. Which makes sense because I can help create interest <laughs> in what's coming. But super excited. Uh, this is called Motor Plan 30. And then there's also a Motor Plan 66. And to make it easier for me, being able to try them out quickly without having to go into edit and changing users, in the dashboard area, I made a button to be able to do that. So I can go over quickly. And so if you had a user, they maybe would want to do that too. I kind of doubt it because it's motor plan based. So you'd want to pick the one that fits their needs. But you could... So under dashboard, if I go back to motor plan, uh, one thing that I could see being helpful is the keyboard here is alphabetic to allow for larger buttons. But if you wanted to have a QWERTY keyboard, you could link the one from motor plan 66 over here. So I could picture that definitely being helpful um, for users that could handle this size of button. So let me give you a quick peek. So you have everything in Motor Plan 30 is within one to four hits, mainly one to three. Uh, things that are over here in the purple um, are further in, like if I wanted to say October 31st, maybe Halloween's coming up. So I would go to time and date October so let's count that so to say October I have one hit for time one two date three October, October. and then it automatically navigates back which is quite helpful for motor, motor planning then if I want to say 31st one two more dates Three, 31st, 31st. Four. If I were over on Motor Plan 66, let's try that out. Time, date, October. October. So that's still three hits. 31st, time, date, 31st. 31st. So on Motor Plan 66, the 31st part of it then became only three hits. So just like with any other grid size, page set, whatever, if you have an individual who their vision and fine motor can handle this size buttons, this would definitely be your best bet. But what I'm really liking over here on Motor Plan 30 is you get a lot of language here, even though it seems on the surface to look like, oh, that's a small grid size. Um, and it's organized in a way, to me, that's a lot quicker to get to words than what I've been accustomed to in Core First um, page set. So let me give you some more examples. Um, more things, art, and then right below the home button, you have the, the name of that category. Art. So you can say art right there. 
under places. So those are all descriptors, more descriptors, food and drink. So if I wanted to find the word gummy bears, because I had tons of kids who loved gummy bears. Loved, loved, loved. <laughs> Food and drink. So that's one. Snacks, two. Gummy bears. Gummy bears, three. Third hit. Um, if... It's almost... I don't remember what percentage. A very large percentage of the vocabulary is within less three hits or less, one to three hits. Um, you also have quick fires. So I like that combination of it's not just core vocabulary. You also get the social piece and the pre-stored phrases, which can be quite helpful. So under greetings and social. I don't like that. And that I know, what I noticed is that these quick fires, some of them, quite a few of them, get added up here in the message window, which I've been asking for that for a very long time. Because I had AAC users who would like to go find a pre-stored phrase and then either edit that or add to that as an efficient way to, to make an utterance. And so now this allows the flexibility. So I, for sure, these ones here on this page could do this. Take it off. Those. Okay, let's go into personal needs. I added this one. I need noise-canceling headphones. Quick fires. Quick fire questions. What are you doing? Quick fires. Repairs do not to get added. Let me delete that out. Hang on, I'm trying to find something. Which that makes sense to me. Because most of the times repairs aren't something that you're trying to add to a sentence. There's something that you're quickly trying to tell someone. So I really, when I stumbled upon this, I was like, oh, wow, yay. <laughs> it's kind of some flexibility. And then you have a place to add my phrases and then even copy them to a button there. Um, oh, I wanted you to see this too. Um, so if I wanted to comment that it's amazing. It is. And descriptors and opinions. Amazing. It is amazing. So do you hear that? It is amazing. So now if I add. It is amazing. It is amazing. Hmm. She didn't do it that time. Maybe it's just at the single, may just be at the single word level. Those are those acapella vocal smileys. So let's listen to opinions. Amazing. Least. Okay. Amazing. And now if I add the exclamation point. Amazing. Isn't that cool? <laughs> so, but the, yeah, now that I'm remember, remembering, those are programmed in a very specific so that would only fit amazing with the exclamation point capitalized. That's how that is written by acapella to do that. But I thought that that was cool when I stumbled upon that. Uh, let's see. I want. And then you go over to word forms. Wanted. That. I wanted that. So I like, re I really like this punctuation here, this smart punctuation that they've added. So you, the user isn't always having to go over and access a keyboard. I mean, they could do both. It gives some flexibility. So anyway, uh, this is Motor Plan 30. And then I'll toggle back again and give you another look at Motor Plan 66. Same vocabulary, the only difference is how many buttons are on each page. Um, 
I have some differences now just because I've gone in and edited and added things. Like, for example, someone in a user group for a different AAC app had asked the other day about, well, where would you put, um, I think it was elevator and escalator. And so I'm like, huh, I wonder where I'd put that in here. And so in Word Plan 66, I added it down here at this bottom left corner. There was room. I also wanted to add apartment. So I added apartment, elevator, escalator. But whenever I was in Motor Plan 30, you don't have as much real estate, obviously, to work with. So if I go to places, I added apartment and elevator. And then I thought about where would you be... Like, the reason I did that is people who live in apartments, usually there's an elevator in that multi-story building. So I wanted it close by that. And then escalator. Let's see, where did I put escalator? Let's look it up. Oh, I don't think I added it in this one yet. I think I did that over in... Let's see. There it is. Places. Okay, so I have it here. So let me just decide where Escalator. I want to put it over in. Uh, let's go back to dashboard, motor plan 30. Let's go back to places. So I have apartment and elevator. Let's see. Those are all names of shops. Doesn't really make sense to put it there. I think it makes sense the most under community places because you also have like roadway. All right. Because if I were at, where do they have shopping mall? Let me go back and look real quick. Sorry. I like to think through this kind of stuff. So see, those are all just names of stores. So that does not make sense in my mind to add it there. So if I wanted escalator, I'm going to put that out in community places and go into edit. Escalator. Oh, while I'm here and editing, I'm going to show you guys. If you, if you haven't seen this yet, it's really, really cool. Okay, so it gives you one option for assemble. You can see others, and I, but I really thought this one is probably the best. But then if you tap that little paint bucket, then down here at the bottom it, are symbol specific skin tones. So if I wanted to change the skin tone here, let's see, let's go there. And maybe it's an older person out shopping, and so I like that. But maybe I want to change the color of her shirt to green and accept and done. Escalator. So now I have the word escalator. And it shows up in the short search. So places, community places. Escalator. Escalator. So I'm sure I'll be showing you guys more, but super excited about this new um, page that coming soon. Oh, they also did point out, and I'm seeing it now more than I was able to see over the Teams call. They've modernized the PCS symbols, so they're just a little bit more fresh and modern looking um, than what we've been used to. Anyway, excited to share and be watching for more soon.